Hello again, welcome back to Cinnamon English. Today we have lesson number 24, the last of phase four of the Jolly Phonics 42 phonic sounds in English. Let's do it. So today we have just one letter, we have the letter Z. Z. And the sound it makes is Z. Z. So this is a B. It's a B. It's a B. And bees, when they fly, they make a sound like zzzz. Can you make that sound? Can you make the zzz sound? You can flap your hands and go zzzz. So let's write that out. Here we go. Zzzz. 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 And then O O I I E E or or very good. Okay, uh, let's look at the pictures. What's this? It's a Zebra. It's a zebra. Does zebra have a z sound? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Zebra. Good job. What's this? It's called wool. Wool. Americans call this yarn. I always call it wool. British English, it's called wool. So does wool have a z sound? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We can cross it out. What's this? It's a zigzag. It's a zigzag. Does zigzag have a z sound? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has two z's. Two z a z for zig and a z for zag. So you can circle it. Good job. And what's this? Got a giraffe and a goat. Or maybe a gazelle. It's a Zoo. It's a zoo. Does zoo have a z sound? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We can circle it. Very good. Let's read this. Ready? Z a p zap. Z a p zap. B a z buzz. B a z buzz. F e z fizz. E z fizz, z e g z a g zigzag. This one here, z e g z a g zigzag. Very good, well done, and you finished phase four. So we'll see you in the next lesson for phase five of the seven phases of Jolly Phonics Forty Two Sounds. Very good. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Hello everybody and welcome back to Cinnamon English. Today we have lesson 25 of set 5 of our Jolly Phonics student book 1 lessons. So let's get straight into it. We have the letter W. W. And the sound we're going to use for W is W. 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 So this is a picture of a cloud, and this is the wind. The wind is blowing. So it's making a w sound. W for wind. So let's write it out. What? 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 I'm gonna write. I. I. E, 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 O, O, Z, Z. Okay, and then let's look at the pictures. This is a window. Window. Do you hear a W sound in window? Yes, good job. So we can circle. This is called a swan. Swan. Do you hear a w sound in swan? Yes. At the beginning. S w 
on this one. So you can circle. What's this? I think you know this one. That's right, it's an apple. With apple, do you hear a w sound? No. So we can cross that out. And this is called a well. Well. Do you hear a w sound with well? Yes. So we can circle. And last part. Let's read w e b web. W e b web. Something a spider makes. Spiders make webs. W e g wig. W e g wig. Next one. S w a m swam. S w a m swam. Good job. And last one. W e d wind. This one here is the wind. W e d wind. Very good. Thank you for coming again. We're nearly through the series and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Cinnamon English. Today we have lesson number 26 of set 5 of student book 1 of uh, Jolly Phonics. So let's get straight into it. Today we have two letters N and G and together they make the sound ng. Ng. So this man is very strong. Strong. And as he lifts the heavy weight he makes a ng sound as he lifts it. Ng. He's lifting the weight. So we're gonna write Mm. These are join letters, you don't need to join them, but yeah. Mm. 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 Good job, then we're going to write E, E, or, or, Z, Z, what, what? Who's this man? That's right, he's a king. King with king. Do you hear a ng sound? Yes, we do at the end. King. Good job. So we can circle. What's this? That's right. It's a zebra. Zebra. With zebra, do you hear a ng sound? No. So we can cross it out. What's this one? It's a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Do you hear that ng sound? Yes. That's right. In the middle. Kangaroo. So we can circle. And the last one. It's a swing. It's a swing. Do you hear the ng sound? Yes. So again, we can circle. And let's read this. S a ng sang. S a ng sang. I sang a song. K e ng king. This one over here. K e ng king. L o ng long. L o ng long. And L a ng lung. L a ng lung. Very good. Well done. And let's see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cinnamon English. Today we have lesson number 27 in our Jolly Phonics. Uh, this is still set five of student book one. So today we have a little bit of a difficult letter. This is letter V. And the sound is v, v. To, to, to make the sound, you have to put your teeth on your bottom lip and go v, v. So, this man's name is Vic, and Vic is driving his van. This type of car is called a van. So, this is Vic's van. So, we're going to write v, 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 v. V. Then we're going to write or, or, z, z, w, w, mm. Mm. This man here is playing a violin. Violin. With violin, can you hear a v sound? Violin. Yes, we can. So, so cool. Okay, we have a van. Van. So, yes. Can you hear v, v, v? Yes, we can. Oh, what's this? That's right, it's a fish. Fish. So with fish, can we hear a v sound? No. The f for fish, this one, the f, 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 f for fish, and the v, v, v are a little bit similar, but different sound. 
And last one, we have volcano. Volcano. Does volcano have a v v v sound? Yes, it does. So we can circle. Very good. And let's read. We have v a n van. This one here. V a n van. V i m vim. V i m vim. V a t vat. V a t vat. And v e s t vest. V e s t vest. Well done. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cinnamon English. Today we are on lesson number 28 of set 5 Jolly Phonics Student Book 1. So we have a little bit of a harder lesson today. There's two sounds, uh, just the same letter, O, O. And O, O, when you put it together, can be pronounced two ways. There's a short U and a long U sound. So, U and U. So this here is something called a cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock. I think they're from Switzerland. And the bird here is called a cuckoo. And when it comes to a certain time, here it's three o'clock. So the cuckoo will come out of the clock three times ago. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Okay, so we're going to write, call this one a long, uh, short, ooh, and then we'll write a long, ooh, short, ooh, and a long, ooh, short, ooh. And a long short oop. Good job. Then I'm gonna write or or z z w w mm, mm, v v. Okay, so we're looking for the short oop sound. So what's this one? That's right, it's a book. Book book book. Is it a oop sound? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's book. Book. So we can circle. Oh, this one's a little bit difficult. When you're going fishing, you need a hook. Hook. So with hook, can you hear, hear a uh sound? Yes. Fishing. Hook. So we can circle. And what's this? That's right. It's a bed. It's a bed. Does bed have an uh sound? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We can cross that out. Now we're looking for the longer oo sound. Oo sound. So, this is the moon. Moon. Can you hear a oo sound? Yes. So we can circle the moon. What's this? It's a ring. It's a ring. With ring, can you hear an oo sound? No. So we can cross it out. And the last one. What's this? It's a spoon. It's a spoon. So with spoon, can you hear a oo sound? Yes. So we can circle it. Very good. And last bit, the reading. We have f u t foot. F u t foot. Z u zu. Z u zu. U u k look. U u k look. Soon, soon, book, 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 and moon, 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 and book. Well done. So thank you for coming this far, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.